Hello, my name is Zenon Blast, and I'm here to show you how to do some simple save editing. Allow you to get some more... Basically, take the stock customizations you can have in the game and get more out of them. Allowing you to make really unique trucks for multiplayer and such like that. I'm a really big fan of save editing because I think it's fun to have a truck that you can't make with the base game but you can run in the base game, such as this one here. So this truck would be able to run on multiplayer, except that the paint job isn't, the paint jobs on the Volvos aren't synced yet. So if I try to use this paint job, it kicks me. But other than that, I should be able to use this truck on multiplayer once that's updated. But this is all done using stock SCS parts. I don't have any mods installed on this profile to do this. It was all done through save editing. And I actually quite like the way it looks. The Volvo looks a little bit funky without the uh, cab deflectors on the back. But I feel like the smokestacks actually fit surprisingly well considering that's the Kenworth W900 smokestacks. And then you can see the trailer there has the wind deflectors on the side of it, uh, like from a box trailer. So, I'm going to be showing you how to do simple stuff like this. And, I mean, the truck is drivable. It's just a bit of simple fun to be able to do this sort of stuff. Alright, so what I want here is an extended chassis Volvo VNL. Because, obviously, I've got to have a heavy haul version of every truck in the game. So, my heavy haul VNL is going to be a day cab with an extended chassis, because why not? So, I actually find it easier if you're going to do a day cab with a long chassis. I find it easier to start with one that already has a long chassis than to start with a day cab. So, I'm going to get this truck. Now, one thing I nearly forgot is with some modifications, like, say, if you're going to put different smokestacks on it, like I did with my purple one you saw before, um... If you go into the service center and change anything, it'll get rid of those modifications. So, what I'm going to do first is go into the service station and put all the modifications on it that I can, that I want on the truck. I almost forgot to do that. So, things like... You've got to choose your the paint job you want. You don't necessarily have to change the colors, but you've got to choose the paint job you want if you're going to be using parts from other trucks. So, let's say I want to use Juggernaut, because it's going to be a heavy haul truck. So, I'm going to leave the colors the same for now, but I'm just going to choose that paint job so that it's on the truck. So, obviously I'm going to want beacons. I'm probably going to change the smokestacks, so I'm going to keep that one the way it is. So, I might put Kenworth stacks on it again. See how they look on the day cap. Excuse me. I think I'm going to want the chrome strip. Uh, what mirrors stick out the furthest? That'd be better to see from first person. I think these ones get me a little wider angle, so those are the mirrors I'm going to use. I want the good bug shield. And let's have a heavier duty style of bumper. I guess having the fog lights isn't necessarily a good idea because the banner is going to cover them anyway. We want the banner. We're going to want the warning flags. Now I will say that usually when I'm going to make a heavy haul truck, I'll keep it to parts that won't disappear if I, mu if I mess with it in the dealer so that I can change stuff like the flags 
in the banners. I can take them on and off if I want to. I'm going to put some mud guards on the back. Because I can. And then these are actually going to be removed entirely, so I'm not going to mess with those. All right, so that's what I want done with my truck. So now we get to the interesting part. Oh. Didn't realize I had a trailer. <laughs> so let's go over here out of the way. Alright, and then you save your game. Now, you do not need to go back to your profiles. All you do is Alt-Tab. Alright, now there are two tools you're going to want to make your life a whole lot easier. These are SII the Crypt right here, and ETS2 Studio right here. And I'll have a link to both of these in the description. Now, what you want ETS2 Studio for is the SCS file extractor. So with this, you can go in... And there's actually a separate tool to extract SCS archives, but I just use this instead. So you can go in and say, I want to extract the Volvo, which I've actually already done. And then you choose your output path. So mine would be here. I already have a folder set up for all the trucks and everything. Like I said, I've already exported it. So then you just click on extract right here. It's very handy for having the bits you need. And then what SII Decrypt does is, if you open your game right now, you see it's all encoded. You can't, you can't read it, and therefore you can't edit it. So what you do is you take this, drag it, drop it on top of that. It does that. And now you can read it. Now one thing I need to point out, I just remembered this. And I always steer my friends wrong with this part. In order to be able to save it at the game, you've got to make sure in your config file, this is the profiles config file, because there are two different ones. So there's one out here. This isn't the one you want. You want to go into profiles, and then the profile that you're going to be editing, and config. And then you want to find... Aha! Okay, right here. Okay, I was wrong. It's in it's in the um, it's in this config. <laughs> I was looking in the wrong one. So it is not in the individual profiles one. You go into this config, I'm sorry. And then find G save format and make sure it's 2. I think by default it's 1. So you've got to make sure that that's 2 because otherwise you won't be able to uh decrypt the save. Okay? So with that finally being found. Go back into here. Alright, so this should be decrypted now. There you go. So, the easiest way to do this is go find, and I'm using WordPad for this. My underscore. Then you find excuse me. Then you find next, and it takes you to my truck. So then you copy this, go find, find next, find next, and this is the vehicle you want to modify. You'll know you're at the right place when it says fuel relative right, right beneath it. Oh, and fun fact, if you want unlimited fuel, all you gotta do is put some nines in. If you put in enough nines, eventually you'll max it out, and your truck will just have unlimited fuel. Now, I don't actually want to do that, but it's a thing. So you scroll all the way down, and then you'll start seeing the actual parts. So here's the chassis. Here's the cabin, which we want duty for. And I don't actually know the cabs. So now you see I got to go into where I have the truck files. Def, vehicle, truck, Volvo VNL. 
cabin. You can tell I've been doing this a while. And it is BS, which is the classic interior, but it's for the midroof. So AS should be the classic interior for the duty, which is what I want. So change this to cab AS. And then I'm going to want the Kenworth engine. So you put in... Kenworth dot W nine hundred engine cat C fifteen. And that's the Kenworth engine. And then for the transmission, for some reason I like the three eighty nine eighteen speed the best, so that's what I'm gonna use. So same thing again, except that it's Peter built dot 389 then over here 18 underscore speed underscore retarder if I could spell retarder and there we go and because this is going to be a heavy haul truck I'm going to use the Kenworth's audio as well which is the caterpillar engine sound so Kenworth dot w900 and i'm just going to copy and paste this because it's quicker all right and then let's see we also need to change the smoke stacks i wanted to change and the deflectors on the back so let's see so here and I think the day cab one actually has a different name. So if I go back into this, it's accessory, and this is where all the extra stuff is. Actually, let me try leaving that on and see what happens. All right, so for now, I'm just going to save this. And then we go back into game, load the save that you just saved. And when we come in, the truck should be different. Whoops. Oh! Okay, well that's interesting. This truck is not quite designed the same way, uh, the, the same way the other ones are. Oh my. Hmm. I don't, I don't even know what to say about this. <laughs> You can hear the engine sound is different anyway. Oh, that is weird. So what happens if I mess with it? I'm just curious now. <laughs> Say, if I go in here and put the horn adapter on. Oh. Okay, then... So, yeah, I wasn't really expecting that to be like that. That is... That, that is interesting. Okay, so... I'm going to attempt to explain why this did this. Oh, you can just put them on here. There we go. I'm going to attempt to explain why this did this, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do a very good job of it. Um... <laughs> so, basically... If you go into the actual 3D model, these, all these dots, the exhaust dot, the side deflector dot, they're all nodes. 
on the model. So, usually, the exhaust node would be connected to the cab, not the chassis. But as it turns out, on this truck, the exhaust node is actually on the chassis. <laughs> Um, this down here is a little hard to explain, so I'm not going to bother. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that didn't go exactly to plan, to plan, not to plan, that didn't go exactly to plan, but I did show you, oh, well, let me change the paint on back. I did show you what I wanted to show you, at least, and I need to change the paint on back. And that is how to perform simple save edits. Don't don't do this and try to go on multiplayer. They might get unhappy with you. I didn't expect that the truck's model was gonna work in such a way that this would happen. But for any of the other trucks, if you do what I just showed you, you can get the uh I should maybe not run into the guard <laughs> Or the the freaking whatever that is. If you do this with any of the other trucks, you can get the long chassis with the day cap. But apparently with this truck it doesn't work right, so don't don't do that. This didn't this really didn't go according to plan. So yeah, I would advise not doing this particular thing. Don't don't do a long chassis day cap Volvo. Because I'm just worried they might get uh, angry at this. But, in general, that, that's how you save it. You just go in and say, let me go back out here. Say you don't know, like you don't want to just scroll through like me. Like you just know you want to just change the exhaust real quick. All you got to do is I'm going to start at the top so that it feels right. So you would search for the vehicle identification number, which is what I call this, and then go into find again and just put exhaust. Right? So say I want the SCR exhaust for some reason. Just do that. Go back into the game and reload it. I apparently misclicked and didn't have the game. So, so there you go. You know, you can see we have the SCR exhaust. Um, as a final note, I'm going to say. One, just don't, don't do this on multiplayer. I'm sure they would get very unhappy if you were to do this. And elsewise, I was going to say, make sure you carefully read the rules. There's actually a section in the Trucker's MP rules regarding save editing. So, you know, you can play around, make crazy looking things like this on your own, in your own time, on your own game. But make sure you carefully read the rules before you try bringing anything on the multiplayer. Because I'm just showing you how to do it. I'm not saying you should. So I'm not going to be held responsible for anyone getting themselves banned because they were irresponsible with this newfound power. And you can technically put just about any part from any truck onto any other truck. It just doesn't always look very good. So there you go. Um, thank you for watching. Please use this responsibly. And if you get yourself in trouble, don't come back and be blaming me. Like, well, 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 he showed me how to do this and this. As you notice, I'm on single player. So anyone who tries to do this on multiplayer and gets themselves in trouble because they go too over the top, just don't. <laughs> just, just don't. It's not necessary. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Oh, and uh, good luck with the save editing.